Hi, I'm Andy with North Dixie Truck and Trailer. And today we're gonna to talk about airbags or air springs. And one of the things that we're gonna talk about is how to identify and narrow down the airbag that you're looking for. Uh, two of the key uh, things that you wanna address when talking to somebody is if that airbag is used on a truck or a trailer. That helps with certain aspects of that. And then also what we wanna do is identify the bellows number to begin with. Uh, the bellows number is just the rubber that the airbag is made of. It is identified, every airbag has an identification on it, on the bellows. And this here is a Firestone, and one of the a key components to identify this one here is the numbers that's stamped in on the side. A lot of times it's hard to read the bellows number when it's on the truck or the trailer. Sometimes it can, most of the time it can't, so you almost have to take it off. Uh, one of the most popular ones on the Firestone that you see to help identify which part number you're looking for to give a kind of a guidance on what you're looking for on a Firestone would be like a 1T15 Amazon Mary 7.5. And more or less, when you see a 1T15 or something very similar to that, that's gonna identify your bellows number. Uh, the next guidance way to look at what you're looking for is going to be the stems or the air supply on the top of the airbag. And more or less is what you have on this here, you get your different ports. And when you're identifying your ports, there's a lot of different setups on how the ports are used on different airbags. This one here has two supply ports that you're seeing. And more or less, you're getting these here, they're not directly in the center of the airbag, they're offset and then you want to measure the center from center hole to center hole from your mountings on that and with certain airbags you get a lot of different airbag mounts that you have some of them will have just one supply and with a stud or you'll just see with one supply only and none, none on the other side but then you want to identify if they sit center or how far they offset from each other according to the center of the circle, more or less. On the bottom side, to identify an airbag, you want to identify if it's a steel or a plastic base, and then also the hole centers that you're looking for for mounting. This one here has your four that are offset from each other, and then also a lot of airbags that you can see will have a center stud that sticks out or a bolt that would be bolted in to, to hold it and anchor it down from the bottom. When you get into a lot of ones that have the same bellows number where you'll see offsets or changes within an airbag is gonna be with your center mount from the bottom compared with the, your mountings from the top. Some of them will be parallel with each other and some will be cross set from each other then also. And those there are a lot of the uh, basic questions. And if you get lucky sometimes, which is not usual, the bear bag will have a tag on the top, like this one here. And more or less, if you can read the number, that takes a lot of the guesswork out of all that. But uh, like I say, it's about one in a hundred that you'll see something like that. But uh, those are a lot of the basics uh, on what you would want to do to identify an airbag. Uh, if there's any questions, or you can give us a call. Phone number here at North Dixie Truck and Trailers, 419-222-8785.